Hello everyone and welcome to Wizzo Talk. Why Wizzo Talk? Shit. Because I want to know, don't you? Here at Wizzo Talk, we play it like you said, uncut and unedited. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all the hot topics yet to come. Like to be a guest on the show? Hit us up in the comments. Have a hot topic you'd like to hear discussed? Also, hit us up in the comments. And always remember that it is free, absolutely free, to like, share, and subscribe. We're going to meet our guests, and then we're going to chop it up about this uh, random thoughts, random topic, random shit, something like that. So, really, they almost not any guests, because they've already been on a few times already, so let's go with it. Yo, more bliss, more life, man. Seven points of bliss, a.k.a. Pomegranate Samurai, man. It's an honor yet again to be on the Wizzo Talks. Uh, if you guys want to check out any of my content, um, I'm Cosmic Currency 777 on Spotify. Wizzo Talk is also on Spotify. You know, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. And uh, you can check me out uh, Google After Real <laughs> Truth on One Word. You can people some of my artwork. All right, all right, appreciate that. And I'm gonna have to make it a point to, to look up my Spotify so I can yeah, go and say it. I, mean, I keep forgetting about that. All right, let's meet our other guest over here. What's going on, guys? A regular on the Wizzo talk, right on the Wizzo. Feels good to be back in here with the uh, Quartz Warrior over there. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a good time tonight, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You're definitely gonna have a good time. So, Josh, the last time we chopped it up, uh, we did random thoughts, and I covered three of my points, and shit, I forgot to let you go and cover some of yours. Yeah, so, you good points, though. You know, man. but what I wanna do, though, I, I'll just like you to first, before you go into detail, just tell about like at least two thoughts that you might cover tonight, and then I'm gonna do the same with Ryan's gonna okay. do the same. Uh, well, uh, one of my thoughts that I had was, I, when it comes to like alien invasion, sometimes I think that we don't really think outside of the boundaries. We keep looking up and out for extraterrestrials, and we're not really understanding that we should be looking inwards for the extraterrestrials and stuff like that, you know what I mean? You know, That's like I don't know if you guys are ever familiar with that stuff, invasion of the body snatchers, but you know what I'm saying? It's deep like that. Yeah. And also, another thing that was really on my mind is the concept of freedom mm -hmm. and why mm -hmm. people think that we are free and why they put so much faith in the government. Ooh. Okay, oh, those shit. are hot topics. That's yeah. good. That's good. That's I'm good. Trying to get all this shit in. What you going to bring at us today? I don't think I'm coming in that hot. <laughs> I want to talk about, I was talking to Paul, I just got a mountain bike, so yeah, I want to talk about flow state, if you guys are familiar with that, um, and then adv maybe advice for young guys, um, kind of hearing from you guys, so it's right. like young, you guys back in the day, what you would do, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, cool, all right, and then I'm going to just touch on two things, I wrote it down, uh, written it down, wrote it down, how the fuck you want to say it, it, it it's down. <laughs> And uh, so it's going, I'm talking about how much does the United States really care about the homeless? And it's going to touch yeah. on the federal government waste at least $247 billion in taxpayer money each year. So y'all guys, make sure everyone stay tuned. Listen to the numbers. Uh. And Josh, know I'm a number guy, done some research. Y'all going to be surprised by some of that shit I'm trying to tell you. Uh, before I get ready to go on, I want to give a shout out to uh, STWF. TV podcast group that I'm a mm. member of. Those guys are really hot. So guys, y'all look them up. STWF TV podcast. That's a group. Uh, they out there. They they real good. They help you with whatever you need help with. Just a good organization, well rounded. And then sometime on that same one, it's called the uh, the Chop Up. Those guys discuss random topics, and they have me fucking laughing. I mean, <laughs> I sit down and put them on, and they be fucking kidding me. And then it's one called Sports. For you, and they go on Tuesday nights at seven, and they don't even nice. know I'm getting this shout out. I just, matter of fact, I picked this up from you from when I listened to you, Josh, and you gave me a shout out. And I like that love. So that's I gotta show some love yeah. to those guys. So that's STW F uh, TV podcast group. Y'all look them up, check them out, subscribe. I'm telling you, they 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 those guys are off the fucking chain. You know, you have a lot of fun. They talk about sports, and the ones that talk about their random topics, they was. Talking about drinks and liquor and wine and fucking and sucking and all oh, that man. kind of shit. So y'all yeah, check them out. Josh, yeah. tell us what's on your mind with that. Man, so I'm gonna start off with the whole alien thing, man. Um, really, I think that, like I was saying before, it's deep how we look 
so far outward for extraterrestrials mm -hmm. and we don't really look inward for the extraterrestrials a lot of people are not familiar with the concept as as above so below mm -hmm. and when mm -hmm. that comes to something as like something organic like your body I don't know if you all have ever watched the movies Ant Man. You know what I'm saying? This is yeah, a yeah, recent. Saw, yeah. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. is a recent concept for you to grab onto. The smaller he got, the more worlds he dove into. More complex you know what I'm saying? Ago, yeah. Right. And this is the same way with our body. That's the way like a lot of these vaccines and stuff work. When you start to understand the inside of the body, the smaller dimensions, mm -hmm. they control the bigger dimensions. You know what I'm saying? There was a cartoon that Disney had it was King Arthur and Merlin was fighting another wizard. And they were turning into different things yeah. and they were battling each other. Yeah. So this evil wizard turns into a dragon. So in order to counteract that, what Merlin turned into was something called Dragon Pox. Yeah. And he infected oh, the dragon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, and yeah, it defeated yeah. the dragon. Yeah. So that should that just goes to show how the smaller can control the bigger world. More complex, now when yeah. it comes to these extraterrestrial entities in our bodies, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of us don't think right because we have worms and stuff inside of our brains and organs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now, when you think about uh, the biome that's inside of your gut, your gut biome, right? It controls a lot of the way we think. Now, if you have sure. worms and stuff in your stomach, right? And they're defecating and urinating and they, <laughs> all that yeah. stuff affects your emotions. <laughs> you got worms in your brains, you got worms in your heart. People don't know they have parasites, but we all do from what yeah. we eat. Yeah. Yeah. And so a lot of people aren't who they think they are. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like the invasion of the body snatchers, man. Like I was trying to say that. Like, um, you ever play Resident Evil 4? That that game is based off zombies, but in Resident Evil 4, the zombies were actually not even zombies. They were just people who was infected by parasites. And they were just oh, going damn. crazy. And that's a lot of what's going on in society today. And right. people don't even realize, like, you know what I'm saying? We're looking at uh, people's uh, mind frames and their mentalities, and we're not even realizing that they're not even in their right minds, man. Yeah. Damn. You know what I mean? Dude, you know I remember saying? hearing something like talking about the amount of bacteria that's in us is like X amount more than the actual cells we have in our body. Mm. It's like, well, shoot, are you just, are you bacteria then? Yeah. Right? It, yeah. it was something crazy. I could right. probably pull up the number for it, yeah. but I remember hearing it was like something ridiculous. But that but, goes right into like yeah. the whole concept is you are what you eat, though. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you're feeding on all this garbage <laughs> and they got all these these entities in it, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what they are, they're entities and they're controlling who you are. Are you you? You know what I mean? And should we that's be crazy. looking at that when it comes to violence and then the uptick of uh, people being like mentally insane and stuff like mm -hmm. that, man. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. a lot more crazy people now than it was before. before do yeah. you think that's just from parasites potentially in the body or do you think it's other contributing factors? Oh, of course it's other contributing yeah. factors. But you have to look at so you the one thing you really want to look at more than anything is how these parasites can control you. you ever have you ever heard of something called toxoplasma gandhi damn uh, <laughs> toxoplasma <laughs> gandhi is like a fungus bro and it's so crazy because the you ever seen a show called the last of us and it's like about zombies and they like uh, mushrooms like took over them you know what i'm saying these mushrooms are the same thing because you know what i'm saying mushrooms are advanced organisms connected through like millions and millions and millions of neurons yeah. bro they so smart mushrooms <laughs> so it's like when you're looking at that and then you find out about taco toxoplasma gandhi it's a uh, bacteria right that infects his host gets into his host brain right and it makes it just gorge and eat and then it Dude. goes somewhere and it, it goes it's like this is on an ant it goes and it goes deep into the hive right and then it just lays oh, there and yeah. dies, and then it shoots the spores out. So all the other ants get it. Yeah, that's crazy. So that's what I'm saying. That thing had fundamentally changed the way that entity was living. Normally, it completely took over his mind. Dude, I remember hearing something. It was on the Joe Rogan podcast. He was talking about one of the guests he had on. He was saying that down. I think it's Brazil. Mm -hmm. Like half of the population down there is infected with this certain parasite. See that has like an uptick in like aggressive behaviors. It was something insane. I remember hearing about it, but it's like half the population has it, yeah, yeah. so. And, that, and that's nuts because yeah. it gets to a point where if, if over half the population got it, then it's normal. This is like, I was, I told my mom when I was a little boy, I was like, when they said, it was talking about AIDS, I'm like, what if in the future everybody got AIDS and there's yeah. a few people who don't got it? Hmm. You the weird one for being healthy. Yeah. yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's how the world works, dog. That's why normality is a very dangerous, sketchy concept. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Just, I just want to point out just one thing because I just noticed it when I looked <laughs> over. We all got on fucking black. Black <laughs> out. Black like, out. God, damn. Dark night, it's baby. Black out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, God damn. That's, that's some detail. I mean, it definitely gives you something to think about. And even also some of the things that you be sending me, I get a chance to check them out. Sometimes I'll get to watch it in its entirety. Mm -hmm. But then once they get to going, and I'll be like, God damn. <laughs> you know, it just, it blew me away from, I mean, the research that you do, I mean, I do a different type of research, mm -hmm. and you know, you just on another whole level with stuff and open the eyes about shit. I be watching lectures on this stuff, you know, dog. I be watching like five, six hour lectures, just sitting there taking notes, and then yeah. the videos I seen you are just shorts that just pop right. up on my feet, broken yeah. down. Yeah, that's, right. Yeah, it's it it be, it be blowing me away. I be because it's deep, tonight. dog. Because people don't think about this. We all out here looking for aliens out here. Yeah. Whole time the body snatchers been here, dog. Yeah. They I think my girl here. said that one time. Said she said we are the aliens. Yeah, that's you know. So. And, and, and and that's a that's crazy, crazy thing because these worms and stuff that's inside of us are more powerful because they burrowed in. I seen this one doctor talk about some this lady. She was having these crazy spasms, right? And they had to go inside of her brain. They gave her brain surgery. She pulled out a worm. She said it was six inches. Dog still alive in her brain in the frontal lobe. Wow, that's the control center. <laughs> in the yeah, front of the that's the control center. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. Ooh. Holy smokes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, man, people really need to be more aware of this, and people yeah. really need to start like detoxing and deworming their bodies because, you know what I'm saying? A lot of us are in the wrong mind state right. for us to go forward. Right. You know what I mean? Now, when you said detox and deworming, that's so what, I was gonna ask, what yeah. is that? What is the process for that? Is that? Uh, it's just different herbs and plants, okay. uh, some type of teas. But like, uh, from what I've been learning is when you're trying to deworm and stuff like that, you need to go and do it all at once. Like, don't start it and then don't finish it because they, what they said was when you're detoxing and, the, and it starts to hit the worms heavy, right? If you don't get them all in one go, the worms can move to a different part of your body, y'all. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'll move from your liver yeah. to maybe your pancreas or something, some, right? You know what I'm saying? They're jacking up your blood sugar yeah, and yeah. stuff, yeah. So, where do, where do we get wow. these herbs? I mean, because the only place we have here is... The natural that's the best place. That's one of the best places to go. The natural yeah, grocers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can order stuff offline. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, man, it's all type yeah. of uh, natural places overseas. Right. What type of herbs, stuff. man? Like, what should we be taking? I don't even know. Uh, man, it's different type of stuff. Like, man, right now I take black sea oil. I take coconut oil every okay. morning, and okay. um, I take uh, olive oils. Those, just those things alone, right there, are pretty good. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? Getting your yeah. body back yeah. right. Yeah. A lot of those things fight cancer, and people don't even know. Like, yeah. coconut oil fights cancer. Right. Olive oil fights cancer. You talked about one of them was uh, with, uh, was it cholesterol, or blood pressure, or some shit? Yeah. Okay, one of them, I don't know what's one It was of olive oil. Olive oil? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Really good yeah. with that, bro. Yeah. And that's yeah. probably just not, you don't have to go in there and probably buy the most expensive. No, nah, they said, the, the, the guy was, what the doctor was saying that I was listening to, he said you just want extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, like a tablespoon. Yeah, tablespoon a, best, yeah. Yeah, a, tail like spoon a day. Tablespoon. I think it's worth it. Like I buy some of the, the canister. I buy is like fourteen dollars, but I feel like it's, it's worth that's it. cheaper than what you would be getting medicine from a doctor. It's though. worth it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the doctor ain't gonna prescribe nothing nah, for yeah. you, but some prescriptions. Yeah, and shit like you know what I'm saying. That. And it's well, different type of fruits you can eat to detox too, right. though. You know what I'm saying. But so, you know, and the only thing though I would say about online was or is. Is that sometimes I don't know what I'm getting, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. uh, quality. Uh, yeah. It was a couple of stores, and I can't remember which one, so I don't want to call them out. That was called out because their ingredients wasn't pure, like they were saying. And that, bro, so, that's you know, deep. So I don't know. That's pretty common. Yeah, you because know, I remember when we talking yeah. about the erectile dysfunction. Yeah, and I was telling you, I was taking vitamins, dog. And the vitamins that I was taking, kind of find out. Yeah. They did a big study on from Walmart. All those vitamins, they not even what they're they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's and they was doing something yeah. to my body, bro. I'm like, what's happening to yeah. you? Know what I'm saying, my jaw was like, I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. I, then I researched. I'm like, oh yeah. wow. Yeah, so yeah. I'm taking that shit. Yeah. I've been straight, yeah. dog. Was, I think it was, it it was, was crazy. Think it was Walmart. I think GNC <laughs> maybe mentioned it or something. But so yeah, that's some that's some deep shit. So let me just jump crazy. over here to uh, Mr. Slice and Dice. <laughs> That just brought him the mountain bike. Uh, right on the way, though. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so quite a quite a big investment. Um, at big least big ass investment. Whoa, the mountain bike. How much did he for? He for the tell you. That's a, 
it's a, it's a band on two wheels. I'll leave it at that. Jeez. It's a band on two wheels. Yeah. But uh, it's a good mountain bike. Yeah. So at least when I was going out the process to get a mountain bike was like most. I mean, most of the bikes I had in college were like two hundred dollars. Right. Super cheap. They they did the job right. And then I was right. like, okay, I want to get into like actual mountain biking and like something that can hold up because dude, I've had times where mountain bikes just fell apart on the trail. And I got out. It was a shout out to the Bear Mountain in Waco guy there, Jeremiah. I'll shout him out too. Yeah, really knowledgeable, knew his stuff. Um, he was he was really good. He's been doing it for a while. But it came down to I mean my budget coming in was like six hundred, seven hundred. And I was told that doesn't even get you in the door. Dang. Wow. Like that, that will get you that will get you a bike, but the kind of the way it was described to me was it won't be any different basically than like kind of an academy or Walmart bike. Right. But if you jump up to a thousand, start getting up in that upper range, you know, two, three, four thousand, then you start getting like a legit bike that's like loaded out. So um, I left initially, I was stuck between two bikes. And that one was just right outside my price point, but you were getting much more for it. Um, then just took some time to think about it and uh, went back to get it. And dude, it's been one of the best investments I've ever made, 100%. And for me, like anytime, dude, you do an investment in your health, dude, the best investments you can make. Like whether yes, it's like footwear or like getting a bike or right. a surfboard, whatever you're doing that like gives you an outlet for your health, like to yeah. further, dude, that's like, one of the best investments you can make. Yeah. So I've taken it out to Dana Peak, uh, Cameron Park, and it's been awesome. And like I was talking kind of earlier, it was like the flow state with it, which I'm sure maybe you guys could tap on too. Yeah. It's like, I'm out there on the bike, 90 degrees, whatever, you yeah. know, I'm just enjoying it. <laughs> Okay. You know, hey. but, but you're riding through the trail, you know, you're like, you're really into it. And the thing is like, you're focused 10, 15 yeah. feet in front of you always. Yeah. yeah. Or else there's a tree know. branch in the face. Yeah. Or you're flying over the deal, yeah, and it's and that that's lights out. You know what I mean? <laughs> said, so when he said you focus, I was like, yeah, focus on not dying. Yeah, you, know? <laughs> you jump it's, that trail, you go. It's, yeah. it's such an intense focus, and where it leads to is like I was at a Dana Peak. It was like a couple days ago. I was out there for three hours, and I looked down at my phone. Wow, that's Did, didn't even Man. know that. I felt like I was just hit the trail for ten minutes. And that's how you know you, you love what you're doing. Though. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I was just saying it was like I've heard flow state with like surfers and stuff like that. They'll find that out on the board for hours. Damn. They look down. It's been like it feels like ten minutes, but it's been like three, four hours. Yeah. You know, so yeah. that's what I'm saying. I don't know if you guys have experienced like flow yeah, state and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah bro. And you yeah. tell me that the bike is like super lightweight. And, and all literally, that literally the bikes that I had in the past, man, you almost blow out your lung bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's so heavy, man. Yeah. This one, just one hand in the back of the truck, literally, like a whole huge bike too. It's got 29 inch tire, it's massive. Just one hand right in the back but of the truck. But it's got to be made out of some good metal, though. You know what I'm saying? Lightweight like, aluminum. Super so, lightweight. So it's yeah. like when you're paying that kind of money for anything, you're always paying for quality. Yeah. For you sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's going to be better, bro. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, too, and Paul was talking about this, too, when I was talking about getting a mountain bike, and the guy at the bike shop was talking about it, it's like during the pandemic, they went through the roof oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. on bike costs because everyone yeah. wanted to bike yeah. or kayak yeah. or get outside. Yep. Yeah. And it was like, it sucks to, you know, say it, but that bike probably at one point was like 700 yeah. and then spending a thousand, like over a thousand like I did, would get you like a pretty, really good bike. But you gotta think yeah. about uh, inflation too, bro. Yeah, yeah then you could get a bike too, yeah. uh, back during that time, like at Walmart, bikes and fishing equipment and all that shit, it was gone because Everybody, everybody was bought out it. doing shit. Yeah. That's kind of weird because we're doing COVID. Everybody was supposed to be in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They're in the streets, man. Right. They're yeah. in the streets. They're supposed yeah. to be in the house. And yeah. it was like, nah, we out. Yeah. I just got to tell you, though, I mean, more power to you for spending a band and two wheels on that. that was but tough. me, it's better be able to suck me and fuck me for that much money. God, God damn, I just. They got at least yeah. with a little engine on her or something. Yeah, something, man, because <laughs> okay, I've been out there riding hey. for three hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shit. I ain't going to want to ride back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, shit. That part, yeah, that part does so. God damn. Yeah. Nah, but that's, that's live. Though, that's bro. good, though. Yeah, yeah. you get out. Like, dang, I can only I imagine the beautiful trails you've seen out there, yeah. bro. Dana, that's nice, again, bro. I would shout out Dana Peak, but I've been out to multiple trails around here. Outside of, like, Austin, at least, like, close in the Temple area, right. um, Dana Peak is by far the best. Right. I mean, super beautiful, crazy trails. If you guys are interested in mountain biking or just right. hiking in general, I mean, it's right by Stillhouse Lake. Right. 
beautiful scenery out. I mean, it does not feel like Texas. Like, dude, it's it's so awesome. And well, I just yeah. tell anybody that's watching out there or listening or whatever, hit us up in the comments. Let me man slice and dice. Know where there's some more. Uh, trails that yeah, he can go and mountain bike in and shit like that. <laughs> or even trying to join them. Or, you know? or join them because they do have different bike groups. Uh, I think I mentioned stuff, that yeah. different bike groups out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You're right about that. that yeah, well, you can kind of join them and get them always, out there. Hey, man, always yeah. network, man. Yeah, always yeah. network. 100%, man. 100 yeah, yeah. network with it. You know, now, we're going to pause for a commercial. Then we're going to come back over here to you and let you hit up another one of you know, what you got on. I'm going tell you, he got some. Hello, everyone. This is Paul Wizzo again coming at you for a short commercial break. Always remember that it's always free to like, share, and subscribe. That's it for this commercial break. Josh, what else you got for us over there? Man, I've been really thinking heavy on the concept of freedom and how we here in America, and we just think that we're free, bro. Fuck that. And it's like, how can we consider ourselves to be so free when we have to, when we tax for everything, uh, you need a passport to go anywhere outside of the country. That's not freedom, man. It's pretty much like we're cattle. You know what I mean? And people don't think about that, but the government refers to us as chattel. And chattel is cattle. You know what I'm saying? We got Damn. these birth certificates, these social security numbers linked to accounts that we're not even aware of. That's got millions of dollars in it. You know what I'm saying? We are collateral. You know what I mean? So it's like, man, at what point do we as the people... Uh, as a natural people of this planet take back the power that we have and stop allowing a corrupted government who was supposed to protect us, right? Yeah, right. They, they, they they give us poison around every corner. Every right? in, the in the water, water. the food, yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like, when do yeah. we take the power back in our own hands and truly become sovereign? Right. Because we all have uh, our, our birthright, everybody's birthright is this planet. Mm -hmm. We was all born on this motherfucker. So, mm -hmm. When do we take the power back in our hands? Yeah. Or, or or can we now? We don't want to be like January 6th. No, if we do. Yeah, we do. No, we do. I don't know that. But you pay attention to every other country and how they are. And when they get fed up, all the people come together, storm their government. Mm -hmm. And pull them motherfuckers out of there by <laughs> hand. You'll see, you see they motherfuckers crowd surfing. Oh, they not crowd surfing, dog. Oh, Those people are going to fuck them up. Yeah, but the only thing is, then here you go. They are all about was getting 20 years, 30 years of life. So what did they accomplish by that? Nothing. I'm going to tell you why. Why are they getting the Why they get it? it? Why they even getting those? We only get that bullshit because we adhere to it. Mm -hmm. Fuck they system, dog. We control it all. <laughs> Who they gave that man 20 years? What's to stop all us from motherfuckers going in and, and, and getting out all the motherfuckers, the political prisoners, man? Yeah. Who were fighting for us? Who were telling us 50, 60 years ago that the system was corrupted? Yeah. And now look at them, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can't even eat fucking lunch meat without getting cancer, dog. Yeah, it's, okay. Lunch meat, bacon is all a, a, a schedule it's a one. Listed, right. Uh, carcinogen, you know yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's like cigarettes. Yeah, well, that's commonplace, man. Yeah. People are eating that stuff. Yeah. So it's kind of like, bro, when do we when do we take the power back in our own hands, man? And stop being so scared of some fucking jail time. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, those prisons are privately owned. Fuck yeah. them, bro. Yeah. We can burn yeah. all this shit down and start back over because that's what we need to do, literally. Yeah, that's that may sound like playing, but I don't think you ever get yeah, enough people not. to do that. You know, they're scared. That's just to keep it real, you never get enough people to do that because. Them, the ones with the family or whatever, or, no way. or whatever. It, I mean, we can talk <laughs> it and wish it. It's not gonna happen. It's gonna happen. The, the, you think it happen? Oh, I know it will. Yeah. There needs to be enough. People just gotta be fed up. That's what I'm saying. There needs to be enough people that are all fed up to do it's it. It's getting it though. Yeah. It's getting close. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't heard that song, uh, Richmond, North of Richmond. Everybody getting fed up with this yeah. shit, man. That was mm -hmm. a motherfucking white boy country song, bro. Yeah. I ain't never listened to no white people music as much as I listen to that fucking song. It's good. I, like, I gotta listen to it now because I hear it. It's good, it. dog. Yeah, he yeah. talking about all yeah. this shit going on, and, yeah. and then they show a video of people from every race listening to the song. Everybody like, yeah, because it's around that. It's time. universal. Yeah. yeah, it's the same problem. Because we got. Because at the end of the day, it's a human. You know problem. what I'm saying? When we looking at what we going through, it's not about race anymore, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's about class. Classism is the new racism. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the only way to truly step away from it, and I know it's gonna be hard for everybody, is we gonna have to we gotta give up money. You know what I'm saying? And I know that's gonna sound yeah. hard, but the thing is they already getting rid of money, dog. Yeah, eventually money everything's gonna be a swipe and digital and all that. So when do we step when do we step out of the slavery then though? 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even even the kids, even the kids who are being uh, born today and the teenagers today, they like, bro, I gotta work for sixty years of my life, then retire and barely have anything. Work no, for like I, five years after right. I just yeah. die off in the yeah. dirt. That you know, I gotta sucks, work man. all my life for That's, nothing. That is not. They're not having dude. that shit, dog. Yeah, I know. You know. And we need to let the young people be the warriors that they were born here to be. They came here to solve problems. We gotta let them solve that shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But we just so scared of the paradigm changing from what we're used to. Yeah. But what are we really getting? That's yeah. what I'm saying. You're not getting shit, but you yeah. fighting for this system. Yeah. They keep killing you. Yeah. That's that's that's, that's a crazy. topic. And that's some shit that's yeah. in my head. Like like you always bring that shit. <laughs> but I just know that's, that's, that's legit is. though, man. Right. Like yeah. that dude. Like back in the day, motherfuckers were sitting there eating motherfucking kids and their husbands off the water to die. But who? Yeah. Rich people. That's what the fuck the what poor people don't start wars. I have to keep putting that energy in people's yeah. head. You got your kid coming straight the fuck out of high school talking about so I wanna serve my country. <laughs> what the fuck has your country done for you, dog? Yeah. Poison you. Try to poison you, try uh, to lock your ass yeah. up, and that's where you wanna die, bro? Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I think it's because like they prey on in like a lot of these young people, like you said, they're they're born to be warriors and to solve problems and to serve and do that type of stuff. They prey upon that. It's like it gives them a false sense of purpose. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, it's confusing world. We're gonna confuse you with a lot of different ideas. Right. Here's a route for you to take it. Yeah. And serve us. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. thinking requires effort, right? Like, what do I want to do with my life? Right. Right. So a lot of the times, the easy route per se could be military for some guys or women. You know, to yeah. get into is like, well, that seems like a good route. You know, so, not for real. Yeah. Cause you really gotta look at what government means, man. The word government, if you break it down, uh, y'all study etymology is the meaning of words, but they most words are like three or four words put together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Government means governmental. They're literally controlling your mind. Mm -hmm. Govern the minds. Yeah, yeah. Some deep shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Once again, you know. But I, I hear a lot of what you said, yeah. and, and and they make people may get fed up. It probably won't be in my lifetime. You know, I, I, I don't be too sure it. about it, man. Uh, I, I mean, I know they're getting tired of it. Now, what's going to happen, what's going to really raise the roof again, is they lock up that stupid motherfucker 45. Now, they lock him up, but that's just the way I feel about it. I don't know how nobody else feel about it, but I can't stand that motherfucker. Nah, I feel so, you, he, if they lock him up, it's, you know, then it, it, it's probably going to be some shit. They lock up him, then you got Ken Paxson. They lock up him, which they don't want him to go, and you know, and his own Republican Party is bringing shit against him. Mm -hmm. But the other people are not trying to hear it. But I don't, I don't know a whole lot about politics. I don't know. I'm just saying that it may get to that because he already instigated the last January 6th, which you said we need more of that shit. No, we do. You know, which you know, because anger gets shit done. As long as you feel comfortable, you're not ever gonna do shit. That's Motherfuckers need to get angry because it's. It's no longer about our lives. It's about our children and their children to come. And then, what do I already know the answer to this, and I think I know yours. But what about all that marching they be doing? Oh, that marching out the window, dog. <laughs> I don't do that, don't don't do that marching yeah. shit. Because it just yeah. gives them opportunity to kill your ass right yeah. there on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. Right, marching, yeah, that shit. Know. Turn the dog loose on y'all. Nah, shit. man, just burn everything down. Yeah. Burn it all down, bro. Yeah, and the people, yeah. 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 the people who want to fight you, kill them. Yeah. That's, it has to be a level of it. Because, you think about this, man. Even in the Bible, right? God had to kill motherfuckers. Yeah. A lot. That's what I'm saying. A lot. So yeah. when we look at how corrupt the world has gotten, is it really gonna do anything for us to be like, come on, man, you can do better? Because all they gonna do is pass their fucking agendas down to their children and let their children get in them positions. Like yeah. Bushes, D, all these motherfuckers doing yeah. New World Order shit, they, they didn't pass it to their children to keep passing the torch down. Yeah. So how do you end that? That's crazy. Without eliminating a motherfucker, though. Because motherfuckers need to know you about business. Because they don't have no problem with eliminating you. No, and basically quit being scared of jail time. Exactly. You know, it's fuck just them jails, bro. Burn them holes down to the ground. <laughs> I can't spend a night in the slammer, dude. Bro, bro it ain't even about this no man. Bro, <laughs> listen, man. At the end of the day, I live off grief. They're gonna grid. feed us yeah. lunch meat in there, man. They're gonna poison us. They poisoned us out here. We'll get cancer in there. We get it out here. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, we get it out here. You know, they, the FDA and the CDC and the ABC and the EFG. They're proving shit that's not even really. They just they don't even fucking know. They just signed off on the next round of COVID vaccines. Yeah, but it, even when you think about that though, it's still uh, ways of getting around going to jail, bro. 
You can literally do a crime and if you know how to speak correctly in the presence of a judge, the judge will literally walk out of the courtroom, which means the case is dismissed. Mm -hmm. If you understand how to speak, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You got to understand that you're not, you're not who they say you are on paper. Mm -hmm. Your social security card, all that shit got your name in all caps. You don't write your shit in all caps. That's a straw man. That's not you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The definition legally of a person is a corporation. You're not that, dog. Yeah. I've heard to I've heard you mention that before. If you send me something like yeah, that, yeah, and you know. can get out of all that. I've yeah. literally sat and watched people in court, and they know how to talk, and they, the judge yeah, get up yeah. and leave. Yeah. Shit. Have you Have you guys seen the the movies, The Hunger Games? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, this stuff for all you guys that have watched it too is like eerie, crazy how it lines up. I was just, I was watching the second one. The second one, at least like for the beginning part of it, as so Katniss, like the character in the movie, mm -hmm. like wins the Hunger Games, like kills off these people for the entertainment, basically of the government, like to class these like lower class people together to fight against each other to kill them and then like raise a victor, right? And then she travels around after that to speak on behalf mm -hmm. of the people that like died off in the Hunger Games. Right. And you see the people in the crowd, like they'll raise up the sign, like to revolt against them and it will start like a few people, but then the government will start rush in, gun them down, shoot them to make an example of them. Yeah. And then they stop that, right? But if everybody, if the whole, it'd be outnumbered, yeah. right? And the majority would take over, so. Um, only the people who feel comfortable in the system, bro. And it's the same with the with the politicians. These are the same people who make the laws, you know what I'm saying, so they can maneuver around shit. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? I agree with that shit. So when no, a motherfucker no. feel comfortable in the system, they of course they don't want the system to crash, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's, some, that's some crazy shit, man. <laughs> when we get there, you say we might. Maybe before my lifetime, we, we, we probably get close to I don't know if I'm ready to monitor it, dude. I don't know if I'm ready to take the bullet, man. Hey, I don't know. You don't have to, though. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's, like it's like a chess game, bro. Every piece has its role to play. Yeah. You may not be a pawn. There's yeah. pawns out there. Yeah. The pawns are the ones you see running in the store stealing everything right now. Yeah. Those are pawns. Yeah. Some people got to sit back and be the thinkers. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You got to move like a knight, dog. Yeah. That's strategic. Yeah, I see it, too. I see it. Well, damn, that's deep. All right, well, let's, let's come on back on over here, Mr. Slice. Nice. What, what else you got before I get into my shit? That was a good topic. Yeah, that, was, um, that was good, that and was they really could go good. on with that too. I wish yeah. you know we had some more. Well, we'll hit back up on that again because that was you good. keep some powerful shit all yeah. the time, every every time. What you got? My, I'll probably open it to you guys. I'm, I've kind of at least recently like been trying to figure out advice on certain things, life advice and stuff like that. If you guys, I know you guys, I know you have a son. Yeah. If, to speak on. Going back in the day, I know we talked to you a lot about it, so you give good advice on like what things you would do differently as a young man to have benefited you now as an older guy. Like if there's like certain things, like key things you guys, it could be like, man, I wish I was like, I worked harder, right? Mm -hmm. I wish I was closer with my family, whatever the case could be, right? Mm -hmm. um, like to see what you guys have to say. Okay, what you got on that, bro? Uh, man. Uh... I feel like when it comes to that kind of stuff, really, I I really, I'm, I can't say I'm proud of everything I've done in my lifetime, but at the same time, it's led me to the person that I've become today. Right. So I really mm -hmm. don't have any regrets. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I probably would have chosen my children's mothers more wisely instead of just letting my body choose. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Like that is pretty wild because then you start thinking about their mindsets and then that affects your children. Right. Um, and maybe I wouldn't have wasted so much time trying to enlighten my family and knowing that they wouldn't take heed to anything that I was talking about. Yeah. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. That was it on that just kind of yeah. about me. Well, I just tell you this. I've heard you say it before. Fuck family. <laughs> them motherfuckers. I'm not going to get on them. But uh, yeah. I don't really have any regrets either. You know, I'm married a couple times, married young, whatever. Got a nice son, whatever, divorced a couple of times. You know, a lot of stuff I've learned on my own. And actually, I've had more white people show me some things than I have my own. Mm. You know, and uh, which I felt should have been the other way around. Mm -hmm. But sometimes some of the black people didn't want to teach me shit or tell me anything or advise me on stuff because cause they probably didn't want to see me have shit. I don't know. But, uh, you know, um, 
So I don't have no regrets, even though my dad lives here, you know, and well known around. But I still a lot of stuff that I learned on my own. No regrets on anything. Uh, wish I would have made some better uh, uh, investment choices. And I try to teach my kids that mm -hmm. to own stuff and to purchase, you know, land and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, because there's there's some uh, and um, company going around buying all the land up over on the east side of town and putting duplex and selling houses and renting houses, which is the same shit they done back in. Some of the other black towns, when they built the highways by the, the highways and byways through there and kind of ran them out, they come over and they bought the cheap land, built the freeways over there. So, uh, you know, so I would I wish I would have made some better investments. Now, mm -hmm. uh, not saying that I want to get rich because anybody that have a savings account, you're not fucking getting rich by that because they're taking your money and they're investing it and shit. Yeah. So those things that I've learned like that, you know, I've learned about an IRA, I've learned about a... Um, IUL and some different other things like that, you know, no. to uh, to get going. Is that's what I'm trying to instill into my kids now. So things that I didn't have, I'm trying to instill into them now that I know of and know about. And that's owning some property and eventually getting away from working for someone and have somebody working for you. You know, let them own and be their own shit. Mm -hmm. That's kind of where I am, <coughs> kind of in another nutshell, you know. But as far as uh, my ladies, the, the, my exes. I mean, I, I get along with them. You know, we cool. I got my kids by them. My oldest is grown. My second wife, you know. I, we didn't break up and divorce on no bullshit. You know, as man, woman, all that shit. So, I'm cool with, you know, with that. Yeah. I call we chat. But, uh, so that's kind of where I am with that. You know, just trying to teach them differently. And things are changing. Times are changing. Yeah. So, that's where I'm at. Yeah. I don't know if that kind of answers some of your question, but I, was gonna... I just went on... I was going to follow up with, then what's some of your guys' like greatest achievements in your life thus far? Mm -hmm. Like stuff you look back on, you're proud of that I did that to be the man I am today in your case or whatever it could be, mm -hmm. you know? Well, I'm proud of myself for, for and my mom and dad for, you know, getting together and having me and making me be born. I'm proud of just me, myself, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of things, I have accomplished a whole lot. You know, and I'm proud of that. I'm proud of the way I raised my kids and all three of them went to college and graduated. Which some nice. people say college is a big money scheme and it probably is. But they went and they graduated. They could have went to jail or went wherever. But they didn't graduate in college. And, and their mom that. played a good part in that. I own my house. I own this studio that I had built right here, Wizzo Talk Studio. Yeah. I own this, I own that, you know. I'm working for something, I'm working for someone, and I'm also working on something that I can own for myself and get away from working. So I'm proud of uh, so much shit I won't take up all our time, but I'm proud of life, and I'm proud of my life, and no regrets on that. Will you drop where you're about to start soon? No. Nah. Won't drop that yet. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. Yeah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna drop tuned. that yet. What you got, that guy? You gonna ask on that? Man, I feel like um, I'm pretty. I'm proud of the fact that I don't let money make me make any decisions in life and nice. my, all my goals when it comes to um, the knowledge I try to spare from people. I really try to give that stuff freely. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I try. I try to really spread uh, my talents and passions with people. And I'm just proud of my creations in general, and that includes my children, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, just being able to be able to create something that's going to be created itself. Yeah. It's just a powerful yeah. thing. You know what I exactly. mean? Exactly. And I'm that's just true. happy to have been born. Like Wizzo said, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us don't take into account our account that we're all the ch we're all chosen ones on this planet. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Science has shown that the egg chooses the sperm cells, so we're all were chosen to be here. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. So it's like, man, I'm just proud of that, man, to be a, a positive force on the planet with so much confusion, man. Already. That's what's up. Now, now that you've asked us those two, you've heard ours, so let us hear yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Proudest, proudest moment, I would say, is the, the job I did coming out of college, for sure. Um was I tried really hard to get the best job I could in the start at the highest like level I could. Okay. So from there you can only if I wanted to go down, you know, something more relaxed, absolutely right. 
but it would be an absolute fight to work up. And I just know from a company's view of like, well, why should, you know, if you want to go to a bigger company, why should we give an opportunity? You've been working for Walgreens or, you know what I mean? Like whatever right. smaller company. Right. So definitely coming out um, and getting that job that was, was huge for me. Okay. Um, and then I would say just in the sense of now and just like, at least like reflecting on this like past year, like continually progressing as like a man and like trying to find the right resources and like just having like a, an active mindset in the sense of like, you try to be better each and every day. Yeah. Right, okay. and as like as a young dude, like I talked to older guys, like bro, you're like 24, like how? And I was like, because I just I'm thinking through stuff on a more mature level of like for me, it's like, dude, I don't care about like a lot of I know guys my age will party or they'll live at their parents' house still or right. whatever the case is. It's like, man, I got my own car, gonna have my own place soon. You know, all this just bought the mountain bike. You know, right. it's like you're accruing stuff, right? You're adding value to yourself as a young man. That's gonna give me value, you know, down the road when I want to have a family or whatever the case is, um, and start like a creation, like you guys are talking about. Right. Um, so yeah, for sure. Truthfully, bro, you're already winning just off your mindset. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, that's what I'm that's, saying. That's Mentality. That's 99 percent of the battle, man. The rest yeah. of it is just action, and you already got that. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. yeah. That's outstanding. All right. What was, what was the I forgot what the second one I asked. Advice? Yeah. What would it be advice to the young guys? Well, go ahead. I mean, I thought you asked something different, but go ahead. <laughs> if I were to give advice to young guys as a young guy, I would say um, work really hard, man, but also smart. Um, for me personally, you can't beat hard work like i grew up working just really hard for everything like just underdog in junior high high school and grinded for everything man and like got rewarded in the end for a lot of it um and uh, i just think of, like high school i was like a super small dude i weighed like 120 pounds like playing football freshman year right i graduated i weighed over 200 pounds Ooh, and i yeah there was games. yeah there was a uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah there was a deal i remember it was, it was back in uh, it was back in i put on a lot of weight yeah and uh it was back in high school they had this award you get with on a t-shirt it was called earn it mm. and like coaches would select like certain dudes a lot of guys getting picked for, like the starters you know like playing Ooh. on the team and stuff like that I was like the one underdog, dude. Like just, but I just grinded like every day after school. I'd be lifting weights like three times a day. Man, I was just doing it all the time. Right. And uh, I remember I got selected one day. I got the shirt. And everybody was just shocked, man. But they, they knew I earned it, like li as the shirt says, because right. I just I grinded for it, man. And I think that back in the day, especially back in high school, carried on to make me like the man I am now. It's like just grind it out do work super hard man same thing with my dad man i mean he's stupid hard worker right you know kind of picked up on that um from him as well yeah. so right well that's what's up you know and i'm yeah. gonna just just piggyback on that a little bit i think and i could be wrong but i think a lot of the hard working from your dad and my i don't know how old your dad you know is but in my age coming up it's going to change because of the internet for sure you know and so now people are, are working more of their mind minds and yeah. they keyboard or whatever and, and they become a millionaire they they tiktokers they youtubers yeah. and they don't have to get out there and and, and prep crops and so to speak or, or, or yeah not not down in no mechanic or be a mechanic they they work in, in other ways and they're making a lot of i guess a lot more easier money or something they don't have to a lot of them they don't have to go to college i saw this one guy and i forgot what he did but He's a fucking millionaire, and he never hardly said anything from these TikTok videos. Never been to college or tried. Yeah. He's a millionaire from that. So a lot of them, are, the internet yeah. is changing people's lives, you know, and they getting creative and AGI, not AGI. What's that shit CGI? called? CGI. CGI. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. AI. Whatever AI, it is. Called. AI. It's not an I in that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't fucking know. But so just touch on that. So. I was holding my stuff for last, so I'm gonna do a little quick commercial break, and then I'm gonna come back to it. Cause you already know I'm a numbers guy, and I do some research. Got some numbers. numbers. We need the so, numbers. Yo, so we're gonna go to a commercial break right quick. Hello, everyone. It's Paul Wizzo. I want to thank y'all for watching, and always remember that it is free. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit us up in the comments for anything that you may have. Josh, hit up Mr. Slice and Dice. Hey.
we looking for some feedback. So that's that commercial break. I got that shit out the way. So guys, I'm fixing to read something, and I'm gonna read it fast. But pay attention to the numbers, and what I'm gonna let you know is that the government don't give a fuck about the homeless, and they don't give a fuck about the homeless veterans. In my opinion. No, that's fact. So I'm gonna read you guys some numbers now. Just just don't go nowhere. Just pay attention and I'm gonna read this shit kind of fast. So if I stumble or fumble, everybody's gonna talk. It's uncut and unedited. I play this shit just like it go. So here we go. Listen to the numbers and then I'm gonna make my point at the end. We'll open it up for if you guys have any comments right quick. Do you wanna read this? Or you want me to read it? No, I'm just fucking yeah. with you. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So the US spent on that rover mission to that Mars mission have 1.8 billion with the B. Of that, 744 million was spent on spacecraft development and launch. 335.8 million was spent on mission operations. The US have a budget from that Space Force, and I think Trump created Space Force or something. They budget is 30 billion with a B. Bravo for that for that. Work with me. Don't y'all go nowhere. If you're tuning in, just listen. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, uh, say around 582,000 Americans experiencing homelessness in 2022. 582,000 in 2022 was homeless. California has the highest population with 161,548. We got North Dakota, Wyoming, Mississippi, West Virginia, and South Dakota have the smallest number all right here we go to texas gotta love some fucking texas and i was probably somebody out there saying if you don't like it move out but motherfucker ask where you came from so here we go texas veterans dropped dropped from 5527 in 2007 to 1948 in 22 so the veterans homeless in texas dropped okay homeless how many homeless veterans they're currently in the United States. That's the question that I asked. You can Google this shit. This is where this come from. Around 40,000. Okay. So in 2023, there were there are 67,495 homeless veterans. Let me read that again. Homeless veterans. 67,495 homeless veterans. Y'all just work with me. I'm almost through it. Then I'm going to make my point. Okay. Texas spent. 12 million seven hundred seven thousand seven hundred twenty and dollars and ninety two cents to ship migrants from uh texas to washington and new york okay the texas homeless population twenty some thousand two hundred twenty nine homeless veterans in texas one thousand nine hundred forty eight as of 2020. so my point is listen to this right here the government spent 247 billion in wasted money. It's wasted money. 247 billion. Y'all probably already know where I'm about to go with this shit. So you got that one uh 1.8 billion on that Mars shit. 30 billion with a B on that spacecraft shit. Texas didn't sit then spend 12 million, over 12 million shipping migrants. So what I got to say, tell me how in the fuck. Do the government care about homeless? You got homeless veterans out there. You got homeless people out there. And listen to the numbers that I've just called off. So, in other words, if Abbott hadn't sent the 12 million for these migrants, there was already money just fucking sent there. This homeless population wouldn't be so bad. Now, y'all can y'all correct me in a minute if I'm wrong. And then you got the the, the U.S. government spending. 30 billion dollar budget on space force these motherfuckers going to mars and you got all these homeless people you go up in austin homeless people's all over the fucking place you go to new orleans you go to new orleans they they all over fucking new orleans i didn't been there and for that katrina and all that other shit yeah they give fema whatever but I can, i'm gonna stop because i can go on about that i want somebody else to just no, say whatever you want to say but listen yeah. to the money that's spent is what I'm saying. You fucking got it right there. And you walk out here and it's homeless people. They didn't lost their house. Mm -hmm. They didn't had floods. They didn't had this. They had that. And not all that. We don't know their story. But the government is spending money 
Just like a motherfucker eating Cracker Jacks or some shit. Well, I think uh, we established earlier the government really don't give no fuck about nobody. Damn and then right. you send your children off to fight for their, their cause and then they yeah. get their legs blown off and they come back and they gotta, they can't get taken care of. They oh. sacrifice their life, put it on the line for what, for the what cause though. Yeah. You know what I mean? This, we have a government that's spending billions of dollars to build telescopes to look out into space, right? Yeah. But they can't even see the fucking problems on the planet. Exactly. You know and they, what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. We got, they want to go and bother other countries because how they treat their people, right? Yeah. Look how the fuck you treating your people, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they kill. Uh, Y'all know who Muammar Gaddafi is? They killed that man, bro. They assassinated him because he was actually establishing money in Africa based on the actual natural wealth they have on their land. Yeah. My man built a pipeline so that everybody in Africa can get free water, dog. They killed that man. Mm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's some shit. And you know, we're so quick to go and help other countries, and then you look at all of the money that's spent right on and what bullshit. What we, Mars, fuck Mars, and you know about on Mars that we know about. What yeah. the fuck are they going there to do? And they fixing to send someone else to a, a group of people volunteering to go to fucking Mars. That's because they want to fuck this bitch up and dip out. That's uh, what it is, man. You know, but you know, <laughs> I'm just saying, what, what, you, you got anything? I mean, I mean, it's fucking homeless. <laughs> I got I got a few thoughts. Okay, what's your thoughts? So, just based on the numbers you showed for NASA, Space Force, and um, sending astronauts out to Mars and stuff like that, there's obviously a focus in our society to go outward, mm -hmm. to leave the planet, to go to the moon, to go to Mars, space exploration. I'm all for that. I think that's great. Um, that's just part of the part of the budgeting now there is obviously the argument too is like take care of what you have back here and also there's i mean i think i forgot the number for like what percentage of the oceans we've even explored right mm -hmm. or just yeah, know so like our own area of land right i'm all for spending money to, i personally for me to go into space um i think the problem is when it comes to homeless is is it a lost cause though to funnel money into it right at the end of the day there's going to be a group of homeless that will just make bad decisions just all together that will keep them out on the streets yeah but that's people who, even it's, people who got houses and bank yeah, accounts and all yeah. that do the same thing they yeah, still make bad decisions saying, yeah the, gov the government is making bad decisions right. and i understand what you're saying about going out into space but i'm talking about these people out here are living your own people 45 said, you know, what do you say, uh, U.S. first, uh, Amer make America great. Mm -hmm. So what about the people that's around right. here that's living on the fucking street, eating out, of, eating out the trash? You know, how is that helping America? I don't understand. Yeah, we can still go to space, but you heard me say they waste, they waste the $247 money, yeah. Billion yeah. with a B. I'm sure that's enough to, yeah. to, to, to build a... Uh, a yeah. The homeless man, it just get me hyped up. No, for real, you know, it should be though. It's not, you know, they spending money on everything, and it's like they don't really care care about the fucking the people. You hear the Republicans get up there and say the American people. Democrats get up there and say the American people. Those homeless people out there are American people. Yeah. You know, and we spending money to go to fucking Mars. I honestly I feel understand. like one of the most profound things that he said in his statement, which he said several things, but the thing that really caught me was he said they spend all this to go outward. Yeah. And that's the same problem with all of this world. Everybody's looking for a solution outward when they should be looking inward, dog. Yeah. Nobody wants to look inward because to look inward, you see the problems at hand. You know what I'm saying? And you yeah. see that you cause those problems when you have to look inward. It, yeah. it forces you to look at yourself. Yeah. And people don't want to take accountability, bro. And I think that's just a problem with the whole entire planet. And, and, not, and then just to touch one more thing, because I've never been in the military mm -hmm. at all. I don't I know anything either. about it. I don't know about the military. For those that serve whatever, that's you know, that was the choice they made. But for them to go off in the military and then for the government to say, we got you. No, the fuck you don't. You just heard me give exactly. out the numbers. That how many veterans? <clears throat> how many veterans that's out there that's fucking homeless? And I ain't even need to hit them numbers. Though. If you talk to some veterans, they'll tell your ass. Yeah, you know, and there's veterans out there. You know, and then there was a uh, about that burn pit. 
uh, what's that yeah, motherfucking name? Uh, I can't think of that motherfucking howdy doody looking motherfucking name, that senator. <laughs> uh, but it was a bunch of Republican senators that did not want to compensate those guys from that burn pit. Now, I worked in Iraq as a contractor. You know, I didn't have to go around that burn pit. But those guys inhaled all kind of feelings. Chemicals and stuff. Chemicals. Yeah. But the long story short, they compensated them. Mm-hmm. But they shouldn't have to go through all that. If they didn't went over there and served in the lost limbs and they were developing cancer and blah, 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 pay them. They didn't even want to pay the ones from the World Trade Center. From, from all that shit, that's that's crazy. Crazy. All that I, don't, I don't even think it's worth even getting compensated. You just lost your life, though. I mean, you get cancer, dude. No amount of money for some of those diagnoses can save you. You were right at that. You know what I mean? Family, that's what I just want to say. The, they give it to the their damage family. is already done. The damage is done, but yeah. they still need to be compensated, in my opinion, because yeah. that, so their family can be taken care of. Because these senators, that's already millionaires, right? They passing that shit on down to their kids, and they ain't done a fucking thing. I think yeah. a couple of them may have went to war. Uh, went to, uh, served in the military, young cat, young Republican guy. He was him and this other lady. They was two of the ones that was against Trump and his deal. But here we are, not attacking you, but we just. I'm just saying what I said, whatever, because you're entitled to your own opinion. I mean, shit. Are. Look at Joe Biden's son, bro. Yeah, this you know, man was so. literally giving out crack pipes so people would take the vaccine, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy. <laughs> So it's you know, so smoke crack. Yeah. He put all this crazy information on the laptop, and the laptop got stolen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. He might as well be snowed in. You know what I'm saying? But people don't even look at this man like that, though. Well, you gonna make another point about that? Yeah. I think you were. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I get hyped up about this homelessness because the government is whatever. But go ahead and make your other point. I was gonna say. How does the problem of homelessness get tackled then? All right, we have a budget of money. How do we fix it? Is it what? What, what is it more? Is housing just built? Is money just given out like a stimulus? Like what? Well, how do you fix it? In places like Chicago, we have a lot of abandoned buildings that that money can go into fixing up, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's even. And then you think about this, man. You turn those places into places where their homes hire people that uh, will be mentors and help these people right. mentally. You right. know what I'm saying? Let these people live in there and get they yeah. get their mind right, bro. And what I would say is, is go out there and talk with these people. So this is homeless person over here. How did you get here? Right. How can I help you get out, off of here? How, what can I do for you? Okay, you don't have a house? Okay, we can get your house. We can get you this. We can get your transportation. He may spend it on drugs. He may not spend it on drugs. But you have senators and all them other motherfuckers up there making bad decisions. Yeah. People, it's part of life to make those bad decisions. But he's living out there on that street and out there on that curb. He may not want to be there. He may be tired of that. So my thing is that let's go out there and talk with those people, whether it be forming a group or a committee or something, yeah. and let's talk with them to find out how can we get you from this. What can we do to get you from here? Teach them a trade, and not and not and not go out there and put it on no goddamn phone and video. <laughs> yeah, and look what I did! Look what I did! Fuck that! Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's not no no. It don't, even, it don't even mean shit. But go ahead. I get hyped up over that homelessness shit. I really feel like yeah. they definitely should be teaching them people. Teach them a trade. Find out what they're interested in, yeah. man. Allow them to make a way for themselves, yeah. but give them the knowledge. Yeah. What were you going to say? I was going to say, would the life be any better for them if, like, given a job, let's just say minimum wage, whatever, you can't live on that, dude. Yeah, like, they, 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 take, they take them off the streets. Oh, get, get a job. Get a job. Mm-hmm. They got a job. They are now enslaved for the rest of their lives they'll never retire dude. that's why you don't want to give them a job or you literally want to give them a trade something yeah. that they can therefore monetize themselves yeah you know what yeah. i'm saying like uh being a mechanic or i think that's better farming. Yeah. for sure you know what I'm saying? Yeah. when you learn stuff like that you put your own value to yourself yeah. as opposed to the school system telling you oh make sure you get a good grade so you can get a good job yeah. that's slavery yeah. dog you teach yeah. it People to be slaves. Okay. When you give them a trade, you liberate them. Yeah. And some That's of those guys out there may already have that. You know, we don't know right. until we go out there and talk to them mm-hmm. and find out how can I help you? What is it that I can do for you? Now, a lot of them, I see some of them, no, I don't just go and hand out no no dollar, no two dollars. No, I don't do that. For sure. But every now and then, if it move hit me, I might. But now what I do have, I have some work over here that I can get you to do. And then mm-hmm. I see where you are and how you feel about that. But to leave them out there, no. To, to me, in listening to these numbers, the government, in my opinion, is not even fucking trying. Because they're wasting it because they don't give a shit. But I think there's a program in Colleen 
that they have they 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 got with Temple Belton and Colleen, I believe, and they're working on something to try to get some of them off the street. There's a place here in Temple called Feed My Sheep, and they go yeah. there and they feed them uh, once or whatever or something like that. Mm -hmm. And you know they hear so, all that. Yeah, cut their hair and do things like that. But you know those people probably didn't ask to be like that or didn't ask to be out there. But we have to talk with them and find out how did you get here? How can we help you? How can we get you from this and get you into something of your own? I don't mean just kind of give them a stimulus check because that motherfucker so Steve Mnuchin said uh, the $1,200 was too much. Fuck you, motherfucker. $1,200 <laughs> wasn't shit because by the time they gave the $1,200 stimulus out, people was already four or five months behind on shit. Yep. Yeah. So he, I think Trump wanted to give them more. Steve Mnuchin, I think that's that tre Secretary of Treasury name was at that time. He didn't want to, He said that was too much. Well, motherfucker, uh, how about you take off work for about a month or two months or something? Yeah. But my thing is out there is the homelessness, the government, Texas, that 12 million that Texas ship migrants somewhere. So you probably say, well, what should happen to them? Well, I don't fucking know. But I, what I do know is that there was over 27,000 already here in Texas and 100, uh, 1,940 some of them are veterans. That should not be on no fucking street. Right. Especially that part certain. I do know. Bro, you put your if you didn't got out mind. there, you didn't. Do, even if you done one year, and, and then if you didn't done a tour somewhere, I don't know what they fucking going through. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what their mind is like to go out there and shoot, yeah. kill. I don't fucking know. But it, it, it get even deeper than that because when you think about the veterans being homeless, they really need to take more effort into taking care of them mentally when they come back too, though. Because some of them kill themselves. They got and they, and it's, on that. And it's like they don't even care, dog. Yeah. Them people don't care about them veterans. That's yeah. crazy. So to answer your thing to me, you know, is something need to be formed to get out there and talk to these people out there and find out. Now there have been a report. Before, because I watched it on 60 Minutes a long time ago, mm -hmm. it was a lady out there begging for money or whatever. She had a big old motherfucking two-story house and a nice Lexus Lamborghini car or some shit. But she, so it, there's some scammers out there, but there's scammers everywhere. But you get out there, you talk with them and find out and go see that this motherfucker is sleeping under this underpass. He's not scamming you. He out there with everything he owns is in that fucking shopping cart that he ain't got from Walmart or H-E-B his whole life. I think I think there's always gonna be homeless, for sure, right? There's gonna be people on the streets. There's gonna be mentally ill people. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure Josh could agree with this. You gotta you gotta look out for yourself first and foremost, right? You gotta you gotta build a skill set for yourself. Like you gotta vouch for yourself before anybody else will, because right. yeah. they're not doing it. The government's not doing it. Mm -hmm. The guy next to you is not going to do it for you because he's trying to fend for himself too, right? Right. So you got to have that drive to want to get that done. I think a good, did a really good point you brought. I didn't even think about that. Dude, I wouldn't be out there dallying food, man. I'd be running like a, a trade school program, mm -hmm. like you said, because then you monetize your deal. You're a welder. You're a farmer. Exactly. Right. Farmer. Well, see, and that's All what he right. said. I think getting Making those guys talk, but right now they can't go up and get any of that done. Yeah. You know, I mean. He has, is, there's a process to it, which I don't know the process, but there's some funding involved in it. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah, so if the government want to do that, but, you know, you, you're right that there always will be some home. For sure. There's going to sure. be there. The government yeah. said they're here to take care of the American people. Those people out there are homeless. They are Americans. I'm, and surprised, that, I'm surprised the veterans don't have, like, some type of a union to, you yeah. They, you know they fight that kind of know, stuff. Though. I mean, it's something that we can kind of talk about it. We have different views and different things about it like that. But I just don't see the help. If it is there for oh, them, that's not, that's not. I don't know. But and you hear the numbers that the money that's wasted and spent. So that some of that two hundred forty-seven billion can be spent on organizing a task force. They organize a task force for every goddamn thing else. Yep. There's a task force for roaches. There's a task force for rats. There's a task force for every goddamn thing. True. Why could it can't be a task force to find out how can we help the American people get from out there homeless? Some of those people out there on those streets, you'd be surprised. Some of them have trades, but they can't get nothing going. So now they just start to shrivel up. They're begging. I, I don't think a lot of them are robbing and stealing. I think some of them are just, just out there. Just surviving, just fucking, bro. I surviving. You know? it's, it's, such a, so, it's such a case-by-case -case basis. Yeah. That you can't, it's so hard to throw a net over everything on it, right? Like, it's its too difficult. But you, it, it probably is, but you got to try. $12 million would have been enough 
to uh, organize something to, to if you're not gonna help the other people, the the normal average Americans, at least the fucking veterans. Yeah. I can't get over that and yeah. say that enough. We they didn't win, and you were like, what the fuck we going for, for for what what you know? And then you left behind. They say we're not gonna leave you behind. Crazy. Yes, you have. Yeah. You have left them behind. But that's just me. So there always will be homelessness, but. We should at least try to figure out what. But like I said, it was in 2007, it was 5,000 something. In 2020, it dropped down to 1,900. This is getting better. So something happened. Yeah, it's in getting there. better. But now this is 23. I didn't get the numbers from that. Yeah. How do you know they wasn't just killing themselves, man? They don't necessarily mean it was getting better. <laughs> That's this true. Is more was offering themselves. The number like, went down. The <laughs> number went down to more. <laughs> the number went down. Less, less people yeah. count. So. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, guys, we've been chopping up for about an hour. So, you know, like I always do around this time, let everybody give out some closing. And uh, this time, Josh, I'm going to save you for, for the next the second. We're going to let Mr. Slice and Dice with anything you want to close out on or anything you have to go and say. America, y'all check out Mr. Slice and Dice. All right, guys, as always, appreciate being on the Wizzo. Right on the Wizzo, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but... Just, I guess, closing thoughts on the homelessness. The f Giving food out and money keeps people on the street. It keeps people comfortable on the street. I okay. think what I would like to see, and again, I'm not fully enveloped into it, but trade programs to get people into trade jobs, not in a minimum wage job, but something that can make you a good living that you can provide for yourself and get you out of the streets, right? Set up in a home, retirement, and stuff like that down the road. That's what I would like to see. I, that'd be great. And especially, like you said, at least provide for the veterans, man. Yeah. That's tough for me because, again, I grew up, I was one of those guys that saw, like, the Marines commercial. I was like, I want to do that. And right. then as I got older, kind of, you know, waxed and waned with it. And now at least, you know, being an older guy, dude, I don't, I can't per se, I regret not joining. Um, I definitely 100% respect the men and women that do. Absolutely. Um, it's not an easy thing to do, but for me, it's just tough. Like you said, hearing about the homelessness with veterans and then, mm -hmm. you know, coming back and it's not taken care of for you. Um, so yeah, man, always a pleasure to be on and, uh, throw some comments guys. All right. All yeah. Right. What we got there, Samurai? Man, I just want to add to what my man was saying. Uh, when it definitely comes to these veterans, man, I think they really should have some type of union set up for these people, have some type of counseling system set up for them with other ex-military uh, people who can just keep tabs on them, talk to them, help them, guide them. Just like uh, when kids are coming out of college, they have job placements and things Counselors of that nature. Stuff, yeah. Right. We really need to set this type of stuff up for these people who sacrifice a lot, you know what I'm saying, for what they believed in to uh, protect our rights, you know what I'm saying, and just us as civilians. So we really need to do better. Uh, the government needs to do better. Uh, and we all are responsible for each other uh, because we really can't trust the government to begin with, though. So we really need to be looking out for each other more. And then, like you said, man, you know, when these people need help, man, you, you try to put a little money in their pocket by giving them a little something to do. Mm -hmm. and you know what I'm saying? And that goes back to the old saying, you know, you can give a man a fish, he eat for a day, but if you teach him how to fish, it always be awesome. eating, man. Already. So that's deep. Yeah. Yes, I've heard that. How can they find you, Mr. Samurai? I mean, you can just uh, check me out on, on Spotify, man. Cosmic Currency seven seven seven, and uh, after Real Truth, all one word. You can Google it. You'll find all my information, man. It's definitely been an honor, man. Already, guys. Yeah, all the info has always been right on the Wizzo, dog. <laughs> <laughs> y'all all the damn chat. Hey guys, hey, yeah, you know, I appreciate y'all coming on the show and everything like that. It's sometimes it's hard to get people, but I always know that I can count on my man Josh to be on and ready to bring me something different and some hot topics at all the time. But Josh is saying, let's go up there and tell them motherfuckers and, and, and get rid of them. Yeah, so for that's, real. Some, that's some deep shit. Mr. Slice and Dice, this is the second time joining us. <laughs> Over there, grilling like right third, third, third time. Third oh, time, shit, man. my third bad. Time, third, third time. time yeah, he, he ready to come on. Alrighty, so, appreciate alrighty. you guys coming on. Also, you know, everybody out there watching, hey, you know, I appreciate y'all watching and listening. Always remember that it's free to like, share, and subscribe. You know, you hear us, uh, we wasn't uh, really going at it with one another. We were just all passionate about yeah. what we were talking about. And I was really passionate about the homeless and how the veterans and the, the government. You know don't give a shit about the homeless and we really have to see about doing something about changing that but you know they'll say a whole lot of things when they going up there to vote but when they get up into that office all that shit fucking goes right out the window 
the meantime, in between time. This is Paul Wizzo. Holla at your boy. We up out of here.